Morning Meditation, Wednesday, August 16th, 2023. Lead us not into temptation. This is the sixth petition in the Lord's Prayer. Jesus teaches his disciples to pray, Lord, lead us not into temptation. There's a lot here that I'm not going to be able to cover this morning. So I would encourage you to read this passage, to meditate on it, look up some commentaries and think about what it means for us to pray this petition. But just a few thoughts to keep in mind. The first thing is, is that we are praying for the Lord not to lead us into temptation. Now, we look at the book of Matthew, for example, the fourth chapter, and it is the spirit of God who leads Jesus, the Son of God, second person of the Trinity, the God-man, into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And so we see that God does not tempt us, but he tests us, and it is the devil who tempts us. But notice who is doing the leading. It was the Spirit of God. So we should pray, God, keep me from being led into positions that are compromising for my soul that would cause me to reject you, to deny you, to blaspheme you, to misrepresent you. And yet, in the providence of God, in the plan of God, in the sovereignty of God, there are times when we don't understand what God is doing. God puts us in positions where, though he is not tempting us, he's using these providential moments to test us. And if you're a believer in Christ, that testing is for your good. It's to conform you to the image of Christ. It's to shave off those areas in which are not in accordance to his ways. And that's a good thing. And yet, in the moment, you feel the pressure. You feel the wearing down of your person, of your faith, of your strength. But God is doing a work. Lord, lead us not into temptation. Think about, for example, Samson. Samson was a strong man. His power was in his locks and his strength and his vigor and his energy. And yet, the strongest man was led astray. His temptation His sinful nature, his own desires led him to an end of his own fall. And so we pray, Lord, lead us not into temptation. God, keep me today as I go about this day. God, I am weak. I recognize that I am prone to fall and prone to wander. Lord, I feel it. Prone to leave the God I love. Lord, keep me. Keep me this day. Lord, lead me not into temptation. And there is a responsibility we have. We can't say, well, I fell because God led me in this direction. God knew that I couldn't handle it, and so he put me in this position. No, that is attributing sin to God who is sinless and is without fault and is holy in all his righteous ways and judgments. And so hold fast to Christ. Don't yield. Don't give in to the inclinations of your sinful desire, but even When you find yourself doing the very thing you ought not to do, do what you know you should do by looking to Christ and turning from your ways and repenting and asking God to help you the following day and the following day and every moment of your day until Christ returns. Let this be your prayer today. Lord, help me to put on the whole armor of God as I fight this fight of faith, as I look to Christ who is my righteousness, and help me to live for you this day for the glory of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, until next time, grace and peace.